The Magic Hot Air Balloon, Book 2, Underwater Adventures at the Seahorse Village, written and illustrated by Brianna Fabian. Can you help find the Stardust Cat? She appears to be in the wrong book. Shannon Rooney is an unusual seven-year-old who travels in a magical hot air balloon at night while asleep. Last night, she traveled to a mystical beach touched an enchanted shell and shrank down to fit inside it. She climbed up a spiral staircase inside the shell to the top room where she opened a magical trunk to find a white stuffed dog named Scotty inside. To her surprise, he was real and was waiting for her to be his new traveling buddy. The next morning, Shannon looked for Scotty as soon as she got up. He was there beside her bed, wagging his tail happily. I can't believe you're still here and that was all real, she said to Scotty. And I don't even feel tired. Of course you're not tired, Scotty explained. When you're in Dreamland, you always feel well rested after. Eager to start her day, Shannon was brushing her teeth when she noticed the new pictures over the bathtub. One was a shell just like the one from Dreamland Beach. The other picture was a seahorse. Where did you get the pictures in the bathroom? She yelled down to her mom, who was making breakfast in the kitchen. Grandma painted them when she was seven and she gave them to me when I was seven. Her mom answered cheerfully. Well, that's weird, thought Shannon. When her mom called to say that breakfast was ready, Scotty was so excited he ran into the hallway, bouncing and kicking his furry feet up in the air. Snackies, he explained. Shush! Scotty, stop running, Mom said no pets, Shannon whispered to him. When he reached the kitchen, Scotty dramatically flopped over in a fluffy white heap. Then he winked. Turning to her mom, Shannon thought she saw her mom wink back at him. I must be tired, Shannon said to herself, shaking her head. It was a beautiful, sunny morning, so after breakfast, Shannon grabbed Scotty and a few sausages to give him later and went out to play in the garden. Shannon loved spending time in her mother's whimsical garden and feeding the fish in the pond. Scotty saw a bird bath with a statue of a seahorse in it and ran to investigate. Hello, Poppy, he said to the seahorse as if it were real. It was a very warm afternoon, so Shannon and Scotty sat in her mom's garden shed to cool off. High in the rafters were her mother's and grandmother's journals from when they were young. Shannon's mom promised her she could read them someday and that Shannon could even keep her own journals in there. Now that I have my balloons, Scotty, and our adventures, I have something fun to write about, thought Shannon happily. As the day got cooler, Scotty had fun chasing squirrels around the trees. After that, he sniffed the flowers and dug something out of the back corner of the garden by the lamppost. He ran excitedly to Shannon and dropped it at her feet. Look, Shannon, I found a wind up for a toy. Shannon picked up a muddy key with a heart shape on one end and a moon shape on the other end and rinsed it in the goldfish pond. The key was made out of beautiful crystals and the sunlight cast rainbow shimmers on the pond water. The goldfish swam towards them hoping for food as Shannon put the delicate key in her pocket. She wondered what the key was for and thought the day would go slowly, but so much fun watching Scotty explore the garden that the day flew by. In bed later that day, while waiting for her mom to say goodnight, 
Shannon twirled the crystal wind-up key in the light, making rainbow sparkles all over her bedroom walls. When her mom walked in, she noticed the crystal wind-up key Shannon was turning in the light. Oh, she said excitedly, you found the key to your grandma's merry-go-round. Her mom moved the merry-go-round to the nightstand next to the bed. You can use the key to help you sleep tonight. As Shannon wound up the merry-go-round, the animals made shadows on the walls and she fell asleep to sweet melodies. Tonight, a kaleidoscope of starfish brought Shannon and Scotty to the hot air balloon. Shannon had a difficult time deciding which shimmering bubble to pick next. She saw a winter scene in one bubble but decided not to pick that one. The bubble she decided upon had a tiny yellow seahorse in it. This time, not only did Shannon feel like she was shrinking, she also had the oddest sensation that she was flying through the air that tasted like pistachio macaroons. She looked around and was surprised to see macaroons drifting next to her. Beneath the balloon was a moonlight ocean with floating merry-go-round like the one in her room. Grab a macaroon and hop on Shannon, yelled Scotty. They both sailed down, gently landing on a bobbing merry-go-round. Which one should we pick to ride? Scotty asked Shannon, breathlessly, with excitement. Scotty was busy greeting each seahorse with a joyful wag of his tail. The merry-go-round started to twirl slowly when Shannon put the moon-shaped key in place. Shannon picked up Scotty, chose the yellow seahorse and climbed onto it. As she did, the seahorse came to life. Scotty and the seahorse happily nuzzled each other with their noses. Hello, Scotty. You must be Shannon, I'm Poppy. Are you ready to go to Bubble Palace? Poppy asked. As they bobbed up and down on the merry-go-round, Shannon asked, where is that? It's deep under the sea, answered Poppy. Shannon had a shiver in her voice down there, but, but, I can't swim very well, she said sadly. Silly Shannon, of course you can, anything's possible in dreamland, said Poppy, encouragedly, ready to dive into the water. Don't worry, Shannon, said Scotty, let's go. They all jumped in with a splash. As Shannon and Scotty swam through the water, they noticed a town on the ocean floor. As they swam towards it, beautiful colored lights appeared. Welcome to the seahorse village, Shannon and Scotty, said an orange seahorse excitedly at the village entrance. Scotty, wagging his tail widely, ran up to the seahorse and rubbed noses with her. How do you know us? asked Shannon, mystified. By the greeting, everyone knows Scotty and his traveler. We make your traveling bubbles here. We're so happy you're here for a visit. Better hurry, Lincoln the train is leaving for the bubble palace soon, replied the orange seahorse. Shannon, Scotty, and Poppy got onto the train. Poppy gave the train conductor some sand dollars while Shannon and Scotty found their seats. Poppy sat beside them instead of holding onto the handle with her tail like the other seahorses were doing. She looked shyly at the floor of the train and the other seahorses ignored her. Shannon looked out the window with great excitement. Two small starfishes were clinging to the window holding an advertisement for the Seahorse Village candy store. I want to go to the candy store first, Shannon explained happily.